Hey guys, it's Rachel Youngson here from usepr.com and wholefoodpr.com. I am talking to you today about our new content repurposing workbook. I wanted to do a quick walkthrough of this with you guys. Um, I'm really excited about this. For those of you who took our content repurposing challenge a few weeks ago, um, you basically have the foundation because what we did in that challenge was we took a blog post, we turned it into a checklist, we turned it into a video, we turned it into a separate blog post. And if you haven't taken part in the challenge, we have a free challenge workbook uh, at the USPLR site that you can grab. But this um, content repurposing workbook takes that challenge to a much deeper level. So we are going to be talking about turning that blog post into podcasts, videos, slideshows, um, infographics, all this fun stuff. Um, we're going to be talking about how you can test and evaluate everything that you've been doing. We're going to look at your fast action checklist. Um, you're going to learn social media sites. These are the ones that um, I highly recommend and that I love. And you're going to learn how to manage your social sharing. This is all great. Um, I'm really excited for you guys to see this. It's it's a lot, though, so um, in a good way. <laughs> it's a lot in a very good way. So this is your workbook. It's 42 pages long. And as you can see, it's got a lot of stuff in there for you guys to do. Um, it's very detailed, and it, it's going to go over everything that you need to get started and get, get started quickly. We also have a quick start checklist that can be easily printed out and saved. Uh, this is, of course, something that's going to give you a quick guide to what you're going to do, what you're going to do next, and all that fun stuff. This is your Chapter 1 worksheet. As you can see, it's three pages. Your Chapter 2 worksheet is also three pages. I really recommend you guys sitting down with these worksheets, uh, printing them up, and... Um, writing on them and you know just making them your own using them in a folder or something like that so that you have quick access to them I personally have an at-a-glance folder that is separate from my SOP folders and it's the first thing that I take out every day it's got all of my to do right now things um, chapter 3 worksheet is here as you can see these are all laid out really nicely I'm really proud of this um, chapter 4, chapter 5 is 5 whole pages, so that's that's a nice meaty chapter for you guys. Um, and chapter 6 and 7. And this is currently selling on the site for $27. I wanted to show you guys what you'll get when you, <clears throat> excuse me, when you um, open your folder. So, when you download your folder, you'll, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, and open it up, you'll get something that looks like this. You're going to see your rights and next steps from USPLR. You always want to check this out. Um, all of our products at USPLR are personal use only products unless stated otherwise. But this is going to just remind you, hey, this is, these are the rights that you have. This is going to tell you what to do next. Um, we're going to show you how to get hold of a free PLR pack, and we're going to show you how to uh, catch up on stuff that you missed and all this fun stuff, as well as different ways to connect with us. And then here are all your worksheets and your your 42 page workbook this I really want you guys to see because this was not added to the uh, web page but it's really important so here we have a that's not the one sorry that's my personal one that's not <clears throat> here we go here we have a social sharing planner so as you can see it's going to help you to organize all of your social sharing with your platform, your URL, your images, hashtags, you know, you, you name your images different things. I make, I name mine like what, whatever the most prominent thing in the image is. If it's like a boy kissing a frog, <laughs> it'll be a kiss or something like that. Um, I mean, hashtags, super important. And one thing that I do recommend for finding hashtags is using a keyword tool like Jaxi. And I'll, I'll talk about that a little bit more in the workbook. Um, but it's the one that I, I use all the time. It's it's my favorite. So here we have uh, the second part of this, which you're going to be running working this a little bit differently than than the uh, the date planner section. You're going to plan this by content piece. So you can see it's it's broken up a little bit differently. Um, basically, though, it's it's the same type of thing: images, hashtags, all that fun stuff. Um, but you really want to be specific here with the date and the time of day. So this is our social planner, and this alone is going to save tons of time and tons of headache, and it's uh, I'm just really excited for you guys to uh, to get using it.
And here are all my other things that I'm saving, which you can now see. Okay, so this is Rachel Youngson from usepr.com and wholefoodplr.com. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. Um, this video has a link to the blog post in the description of the video, and you can find me there. Uh, you can also find me on our Facebook page, and that is facebook.com slash usepr. All right, guys, have a great day.